So let's create our custom.css file. And something I like to do is add a default CSS style to it that will make it clear that our CSS file is being included. In this case, what we'll do is add a 10 pixel red border around the entire body. Something a little bit gaudy, but very easy to recognize. So I'll open up our custom folder. Again, this is our sub theme folder. And I'm going to create a new folder called CSS. And I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate our info file because it's just a plain text file. And I'll drag it over to the CSS folder and rename it custom.css. And we'll open this up in a text editor and just cut out everything that's inside of it. So now let's add that gaudy CSS line. You can find all the CSS that we're going to use in the rest of this series inside of the resource pack. So I'm going to go to the resource pack directory and I'll open up the styles.css file and we'll copy this first style here for the body that adds a 10 pixel solid red border around it. And I'll go back over to our custom CSS file and paste it in and save it. Let's make sure also that we saved our custom.info file. And now let's enable this. So I'll jump back to the browser and I'll go to appearance and I'll scroll down. And for our custom theme here, we'll enable and set default. Now, if we exit out of this overlay, we'll see our red border, which is a good sign. However, there are a couple of not so good signs. One of which is that our logo is gone and that our site name is appearing now. This is just a sign that the settings that we set for default don't carry over to our sub-theme, so we'll need to set them individually for our sub-theme as well. Now again, we can't adjust our colors, but we'll do that in the next step. So let's go to Appearance again, and let's click Settings underneath our custom theme. For toggle display, we want to uncheck site name like we did before. We'll scroll down, and for our logo, we want to use our custom logo. Now this already has path to custom logo set. Let's remove that and upload our logo from the resource pack. So I'll click choose file. And in the resource pack under site images, we have logo.png. And I'll scroll down and click save configuration. Okay, now if we exit out of the overlay, you'll see our logo and we don't see our site name and we're good to go there.